welcome back to the vlog i am looking really really tan right now the past couple of days california has had a heat wave and you bet that i went to the beach every single day we hit those three digit numbers so that's why i'm looking a little bit more tan this is my base tan before i go on vacation but that also means that my foundations do not match my skin tone right now so i went and shopped for new makeup and i picked up a ton of products from elf cosmetics and i really like went off guys i really went off we got new blushes powder a hydrating mist bronzer i think i picked up enough products for me to do like a full face of just elf cosmetics makeup and i've always like wanted to try using just like one makeup for my full face and i'm excited i'm so excited i have been using elf cosmetics since i was in high school you guys and they really like evolved they really evolved the prices are still pretty great they're pretty affordable and honestly you can find really great pieces from elf and the fact that they are sponsoring this video oh my goodness my little high school self and even now like my present self is like screaming because i'm like oh my gosh like elf knows i exist elf knows i exist so if you guys want to get ready with me just go ahead and grab some coffee your tea your snacks and your makeup and then you and i can get ready together okay so let's start off with primer this is the elf cosmetics blemish fighting putty primer this one has 1.8 percent of salicylic acid which is supposed to like diminish the appearances of your pores and blemishes so i'm very excited and now i'm going to be using the putty primer applicator um also can we like talk about how affordable elf is like i feel like it has stayed true and affordable for the past couple of years because i remember using elf cosmetics back in high school and i feel like the prices are still the same if not like they didn't change drastically all right so i guess i'm just gonna go ahead and tap it Ooh, i know that one of the putty primers from elf cosmetics is like trending on tiktok right now i think it's like the poreless one i'm not completely sure but i wanted to try this because this one has salicylic acid on it i have the product on my brush right now i'm just gonna go ahead and dab it i did put on my sunscreen already and also a moisturizer i'm gonna go ahead and just dab this all over my face and go ahead and get more Ooh, it feels really cooling on the skin Hmm, that's kind of crazy. It's like green, but it applies clear. Up next, I picked up two shades of the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, and these have skin-loving ingredients such as collagen, peptides, and niacinamide. I didn't know my shade online, so I just honestly like got to just to be safe. I got it in the shade Medium 330W and Medium 330. 75 n i'm guessing the w stands for warm and the n stands for neutral and i like that the cc cream also has an spf of 30 because you cannot forget to leave the house without an spf but if you do happen to forget to put on sunscreen the elf camo cc cream got you because it has an spf of 30. this is the shade 375 neutral right now i'm gonna go ahead and pump it on the back of my hand this is the color and i got the 330 warm so I'm going to pump it. All right, so these are the shades. And I'm just going to go ahead and dab that all over. I forgot that I got a beauty blender from e.l.f. So I'm going to go ahead and wet this real quickly and we're going to try to blend the rest of the makeup. Alright, so this is what the foundation is looking like right now. I know it's lighter than the rest of my body, but that's also because my face is always lighter than the rest of my body. But once we apply bronzer and stuff, it's going to even everything out. But I really, really, really like the natural finish. Even though it's full coverage, I like how lightweight it feels. And also, it doesn't have any some type of fragrance, which is probably one of my biggest pet peeves is when CC creams or foundations have a certain smell because I feel like I'm sensitive to smell um, and this one doesn't have any fragrance at all. All right, so this is what the camo CC cream looks like. It honestly looks really, really good. And I only did one pump on each um, shade and the fact that it covered my blemishes, 
All right, now let's see you. Let's see you. Also, the Camo CC Cream Collection has 20 shades, so you are gonna find the right shade for you. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some concealer. This is the 16 Hour Camo Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Sand. I think this trick is meant to kind of like lift this area up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my whole face. I'm gonna be trying out the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder. This one sets makeup and creates a soft focus blurred finish, and I got it in the shade medium now I do have an oily skin so hopefully I don't look like a grease ball after this but it's looking really really beautiful my skin right now for bronzer I'm gonna be using the elf cosmetics primer infused bronzer in the shade forever sun kiss and I love that name this is what it looks like it looks like it's a universal bronzer shade so I'm just gonna be taking this and applying that on the perimeters of my face I'm gonna take a little fluffy brush and then going back with the bronzer and I'm just gonna contour like bronze my nose area just a little bit and I'm just extending the bronzer to my brow bone all right the fact that all of the products i've used so far are yay for me we love we love that let's do our brows i picked up the elf cosmetics instant lift brow pencil and this is in the shade deep brown honestly i'm not used to having an eyebrow um, pencil tip like this all of my eyebrow pencils have like a slanted tip but we'll see how this works color wise perfect color perfect shade it was just kind of a bit hard for me to fill in my brows just because i'm probably like not used to having like a pointy tip all of my all of my eyebrow pencil tips are all like slanted so i'm kind of like used to that but that went on really really nice and i like the shade it matches perfectly let's move on to blushes i picked up these putty blush from elf cosmetics and these are infused with organ oil and vitamin e and i literally couldn't choose which shades to get so i picked up too because these looked beautiful online i got it in the shade tahiti which is girl i want to go to tahiti so bad but this is in the shade tahiti which is like this darker kind of like a pinkish color it's almost like a darker mauve almost red color and then i also got the shade bora bora so i guess all of their shade names are all these tropical islands uh, which blush do we want to get the island glow i think i'm gonna go with tahiti i'm just gonna take this little blush brush and I'm just going to dab it and I'm just going to apply on the high points on my cheeks Ooh, oh my god <gasps> wait this color though alright Tahiti the island of Tahiti I'm really into cream blushes right now and I think this might be my new favorite shade Okay, these are really pigmented. So you might want to be careful when you're like dabbing your brush because these are super, super pigmented. Okay, so the product is like cream, but as soon as you apply it on your skin, it has like that semi-matte finish to it, which I am a fan of. I have been putting on blushes on my nose. It's like the new trend right now and I'm here for it. It looks like we're, we look like fairies when we put on blush in our nose. Like, look at that glow, guys. Look at that glow. I know we're glowing right now, but I do want to add a pop of highlight on the high points on my cheeks as well as my nose. So I have this little um, duo here. This is the Bite Size Face Duo in the shade Guava. I love all these names, guys. These names just scream summer is here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my brush and then just dab this. Oh, y'all saw that. Y'all saw that glow though. Oh my god. You're telling me that this little bad boy here just gave me this highlight? Wait, I'm so happy that all of the products are working out. I'm gonna take the highlight again. Just take one swipe because that was super pigmented. I'm just gonna put it on the tip of my nose. And I'm also going to be taking the highlight on the inner corners of my eye because that's been my favorite lately. Oh, she's so pretty.
I can't. This full face right here, these are the e.l.f. Cosmetics Lip Lacquer in the shade Bubbles and Fantasy. So this is Fantasy. Ooh, very, very nice. Oh my god. Okay, we're going for Miss Bubbles. All right, I don't know how to act with this lip locker right here. This full face right here, I, I am at loss of words. Last but not least, I'm gonna try the e.l.f. Cosmetics Hydrating Coconut Mist. This is to hydrate the skin and refresh this makeup with hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. This is not necessarily a setting spray, but I kind of just like want to, you know, refresh the makeup just because I feel like we've been applying on makeup for the past couple of hours. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of test this first, do a couple of spray. Now let's do it on our face. Mmm, I can smell the coconut. I feel like I'm on an island right now with the smell of this coconut mist. Okay, so just refreshing the makeup. She's glowy, she's hydrated. All right, everyone, that's our little get ready slash try out new products with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want to try out the products that I featured in this video, I will put the product links down below, as well as the shades that I use for this video. But honestly, guys, I am in awe of all the products. The only product that I was like kind of and just because I got the wrong shades is the Camo CC Cream. But it all worked out because I mixed the two shades that I got. And the bronzer also helped, as you can see. Your girl is glowing and growing. We love it. And I love how affordable e.l.f. Cosmetics is. So if you guys want to check out e.l.f., just go ahead and click the link down below. Yeah, I love it. We're glowing and growing, baby. And where am I going today? Nowhere. Again, thank you so much to e.l.f. Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. I love you guys. I have been using your products since high school. And the fact that you guys are sponsoring this video, I love you guys. I love, 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 love you guys. We're gonna go ship all of these Poshmark orders and I also need to pick something up from my P.O. box. that are like not for me but they keep putting it in my mailbox like it's probably like the previous owner like what do i do because i i googled it and then one time it says you can write um not at this address and then i shipped it back and then it just came back to my pill box but anyways this one is from a subscriber of mine and she made like a little phone charm and i have been seeing it everywhere and she like reached out to me also if you guys ever want to send anything you can just send it to my P.O. box. I got my P.O. box for you guys. 
<laughs> okay, let's read the card. It says, Dear Frina, I'm so happy to be sharing with you my little colorful creations. I'm a big fan and follower, and I wish you nothing but the best with your career. I know your honesty and creativity and drive to succeed will get you far. I hope you love the phone charms. Much love, positive vibes from. I hope I pronounced your name correctly, Chiara. That's such a unique name. Here's the box that she gave, guys. And wait, I don't want to like ruin this. <gasps> oh! I'm so excited! Just checking. First one I have is with my name on it. Oh my gosh! How cute! Look at this, guys. And then she also made this other one. She said, Beach, please! Ah! I love it! She knows me so well. Why am I screaming? She knows me so well. We got this blue theme one and it says beach please. Oh my god, how freaking cute. Now my only question is like how do people attach it on their phone? Because we don't have like back then in the you know early 2000s, I had like the pink motor Motorola Razor phone. It had like a little dip inside but I know that the iPhone don't have them. So how do people do this? Oh, also, don't judge me. My phone is so, oh my God, I keep forgetting that I have the Pacific Blue phone. Cause like there's, oh, you know what? Yeah, no, I don't know how people do it. Okay, maybe it's on the case. Let's try it. I wanna do this one. I have a feeling they just put it like in this area here, right? Like that has to be it. Let me see. Hopefully, like, I'm able to, like, close it. So, like this, right? Let's try it. Ah! Oh my god, it works! <gasps> ah! Oh my god! <laughs> this is so cute! Look at this! Wait, this is so freaking cute. Thank you so much. I love it. I'm just gonna keep this on because like, well, this is a vibe. Hopefully, like, yeah, it should be fine. TBH, it should be fine. Okay, that's what we have right now. So later when I go home, I'm gonna look through my iPhone case collection and change it into something super bright. So it matches my new phone case. Oh my gosh, how freaking cute thank you so much i'll put their instagram down below and then on the screen for you now remember to put it on the screen right now is about lunch time it's almost 12 o'clock so i'm gonna go pick up some poke and then go home because i haven't eaten lunch and my dad also requested poke and i think i have like one free poke because i filled up my little stamp cards already so let's go it's getting hotter it's getting hotter on here. My sincerest apologies. I haven't been vlogging all morning, except until I went to the post office, but I've just had a busy, busy morning and I just picked up lunch from my favorite poke place in LA, which is all about poke. Here's my poke for lunch. We got spicy tuna, tuna and salmon, then edamame for kake on top, onions, both green and white, tomatoes, Mmm, where is my avocado and avocado? Hello guys, I think I have a last minute meeting. So I just made my call with the brand. Right now, I just wanted to unbox my new toy because my mini Kululi fridge, my skincare fridge, broke a couple weeks ago. I really thought that I wouldn't really be sad about my skincare fridge breaking, but like my skincare just doesn't feel the same without my mini fridge now. I think it's one of those experiences where like once you try it, once you have it, it's a different experience when you no longer have access to it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and get it because I literally use my skincare fridge every single day, every single night, and I just cannot, it's just not the same with my skincare. Literally all of my skincare in my old fridge is in a little box right now and it's so hard to look for it and it just doesn't feel nice on my skin. 
so i went ahead and upgraded uh this is not a sponsored video i did buy this with my own money we're gonna go ahead and unbox our new toy i don't know what you guys can but i cannot stand oh the sound of styrofoam like scratching anything uh, how do i take this out without breaking it okay okay This is definitely bigger than my old one. I'm literally so freaking excited. Skincare is an investment, and I'm gonna expense this. Don't you worry, I'm gonna expense this. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go, and I like how this one has compartments because the other one, my issue was I was literally stacking all of my skincare, so then every time I needed to use like the bottom one, I would have to take out everything, and yay! I love guys, I love. Let's go put stuff in this. First stop, we have my Kitsch ice roller. It's not gonna fit there. So maybe I'll keep it like, I think I'll keep all my washa and my little like skincare tools inside of this box here. I got this in a PR and I have been using it. I'm almost done with it, honestly. And this one has been doing really well with clearing up my dark spots i mean i can still see my acne scars and my pimple scars but this is literally like slowly but surely getting rid of it i wish i took a before picture because i'm like blown away with this oh guys this is gonna be so satisfying look skincare fridge it's not that cold yet i literally just plugged it in but you open it voila obviously i'll eventually fill these up but so far i just have my baby my new favorite item right now and then these are my skincare we got some morning skincare and then also like nighttime got my curology drunk elephant then my favorite moisturizer at the moment and then in here, I just have my mask and then also some skincare tools like my gua sha, my ice roller, and then my jade roller. And it just fit perfectly. And in closing it, see, you guys see the light? Yeah, amazing. Alrighty guys, after spending quite some time in the bathroom, settling in my new skincare fridge, I'm gonna open a couple more packages because they just came in. I am so bloated right now. We got a couple of bikinis from Bright Swimwear. They sent one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They sent eleven bikinis. And I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a little haul. I've never heard of this brand before until they reached out. But they had really cute bikinis. And like, look at these like bikini bags. They're like the same material as bikinis. So the first one we have is this like unicorn color. And then, ooh, these are definitely super, 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 super scandy. Not super scandy, but like... It's your, you know, typical triangle bikini top. Ooh, okay, so this is definitely like a thong fit. A super cheeky bottom indeed. We have this Thai side bikini bottom. These are probably my favorite bikini bottoms because you can adjust them to your liking. And then we got another package from Alme. New Alme All Day Intense Gel Liner. It says fragrance free hypoallergenic. Thank you so much Alme. I'm now gonna edit this Lulu's haul. I know I look so funny here but look how light my hair is guys. At first I was like oh it's kind of too dark for my liking but it's actually pretty light compared to what i've done before i mean actually i've had like lighter hair like lighter streaks on my hair before but i feel like with this hair everything blended out nicely i'm just gonna go ahead and edit this i have about two 
videos to edit um don't buy me the ipsy one i already finished that i started to delete that but i have a vlog to edit and then also my lulu's haul because i have to turn this in to the brand for approval so it can go up on the first so may may first it's april 28th right now <laughs> It's not completely public yet it's just unlisted because i have to send the link to the brand for them to approve it but one video down one video down i'm so happy about it and then i'm gonna edit another haul and this one is in collaboration with princess polly aka one of my favorite brands to work with and yeah so i'm gonna edit this it's currently 41 minutes long right now so that's gonna take me about an hour and a half i feel like hauls are the easiest for me to film and also edit because i'm just so used to it and i do it all the time that anything under an hour honestly will only take me an hour to edit an hour to an hour and a half and this is about 41 minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and edit that and i also just got home from the post office and i dropped off some of the Poshmark packages. Hi guys, I'm here with my friend and we're gonna take pictures of this little thing here. There is a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cup my tea can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves so Okay guys, excuse so my look right now I was literally about to head out and go run some errands And my friends have been messaging me that one of my TikTok videos just hit a million views and ralph was like charlie pooth just commented on your tiktok so i went to look at it and we are at 1.3 million views and it's these two right here it's honestly just me trying to show you guys how i edit my photos on the iphone photo app like not on visco not on lightroom and i honestly did not think it was gonna go viral or anything um the first person that i saw the video from is from Gabriella Prey and I was like oh, okay this looks like it's an easy you know video to do so I just like use the music you know I put it in and I edited my photo and I did not think it was gonna get a million 1.3 million views in six hours and then Charlie Puth also 420 blaze and also Charlie Puth <laughs> commented on my TikTok on that video I'm literally like laughing and crying so here look at this he's like lol is that my song slowed down and the first comment cracks me up guys it cracks me up what an interesting day happy friday everyone um and i also did like another one right after i posted this video because i really like was just enjoying it <laughs> and that one is also doing well but i cannot believe we hit our first not the last our first 1 million views and we just got a comment from charlie booth i don't know how to act guys follow me on my tiktok it's fun there but uh yeah this is the fit right now i also just got my period so i'm not trying to dress on lace it's the first day and i'm struggling out here but this is honestly just brighten up my mood but i'm gonna go to costco and run some errands it'll be my first time using my um black costco cord the not exclusive is it exclusive i don't know it'll be my first time using my costco card because i finally got a costco card <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. I cannot. 